Now, to get a better understanding uh, with that story, we're joined by Paul Mango with the Washington Peace Center. Uh, Mr. Mango, thank you for joining us on World News. Why is it that even the U.S.'s credit rating being dropped right now, uh, Secretary of Defense Liam Panetta still uses al-Qaeda as a scare tactic to prevent President Obama from cutting $400 billion in the next decade for military spending? Well, that's an extremely good question. Um, one, of the, one of the main reasons we have economic problems in our society is that we have uh, sunk uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars into, into war on several fronts. Um, Iraq, Afghanistan, we've got military action going against Libya. We have uh, military operations that's going on in places like Pakistan and Yemen and uh, who knows where else. Uh, so, you know, we're pay, our society is paying a price for uh, for we're mortgaging our, our possibilities to uh, to these military adventures, and it's uh, it's coming home. Uh, it's coming to hurt us. So I don't, you know, know why they think there's wisdom in continuing to do that. And you know, in, in Admiral Mullen's language, to uh, set the groundwork for uh, doing that on a more intense level over the over the long term. Uh, rather than uh, packing up and getting out of the way of uh, folks in uh, South Asia who can certainly put their heads together and work on their regional security issues, but uh, they don't they don't need us at the table in order to talk to each other and fashion a common security approach. Well, Mr. Magno, uh, do, would, would you be able to explain to me why Admiral Mike Mullen is so interested militarily in South Asia? Well, um, I think uh, part of it is we're going is, is a continuation of what uh, the practice has been for the last uh, decade uh, since the aftermath of 9/11. Uh, we've had uh, we've had troops on the ground uh, in Afghanistan and in Iraq, uh, and as I've said, and uh, the military wants to continue to do that. And I'm, it's hard to tell sometimes how much the motivation is simple, uh, simply perpetuating our own. Uh, Dominion of the region, attempted dominion of the region, and how much of it's actually rooted in, in economic interests rather than political interests. Uh, they, they both uh, they both drive U.S. militarism forward, um, and uh, and that is the problem. Uh, well, Mr. Magno, uh, why doesn't the U.S. right now, in your opinion, remove their troops from Afghanistan, Iraq, and Pakistan so that their private is it because of the uh, the revenue for their security firms of Blackwater and Dynacorp, in your opinion? Well, I'm not sure if it's the private security um, uh, auxiliaries in particular. Um, certainly, there's a lot of um, there are a lot of uh, privateers like that, and uh, a lot of military contractors who have a lot of profits at stake in perpetuating uh, permanent warfare in the region. Um, and so that ends up being part of the problem and the willingness of our political personalities, the new Secretary of Defense, uh, the President to capitulate to that uh, uh, keeps a problem going forward when, um, you know, we need to figure out how to, uh, we haven't accomplished this very much in, in, in uh, the region in, in a decade's time and we ought to get out of there uh, and save our money and um, Save what's left of uh, of our dignity, I suppose. Uh, and and well, Mr. that's Magno, what the American people just want. Briefly, they don't understand why uh, we're wasting Mr. Magno, just on it. Don't mean to cut you off because we are running out of time. Just briefly, uh, this is in similarity to that question. Z Group, uh, United States does not have a military base in Afghanistan, but Z Group seems to have one there. What, what, what can you explain that to me? Well, uh, they seem to have, uh, Z Group used to be known as Blackwater. Uh, they, uh, they changed their stripes and they seem to keep going forward and they seem to have one life after another, um, despite um, the scandals and embarrassments and corruption uh, that they've been involved in. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, how it is that they continue to maintain their uh, lease on life as a, as a military entity projecting itself into, um, into the region. Uh, but they do seem to have uh, they seem to have their hand in the uh, in the public's pocket um, 
uh, on an ongoing basis. And uh, I don't know why they don't just get shut down and, and some of their leadership sent to jail, considering some of the things they've been um, held, you know, uh, demonstrated to be responsible for. Well, Mr. Magno, thank you for uh, taking time to join us right here on World News. Uh, Paul Magno with the Washington Peace Center discussing the U.S. militarism and the continuance of uh, U.S. military bases in Afghanistan, Pakistan, and countries in South Asia.